I don't know why the f further messages didn't show up. If anyone actually knows what I missed, please feel free to comment on that, because I'm confused. Come to think of it. Hmm. I'm wondering if there had originally been one there. It seems like there was one somewhere around here that I may have just missed. It's not an overly important detail, but it, it still bugs me that I missed something like that. Definitely on a further run, I'm gonna have to pay more attention to that. I knew it, just as I thought. This is where I missed one of the diaries. Right here, on the second floor of the hospital, in front of the button puzzle for the second floor hallway door. Unfortunately, if you go as far as I did, it seems to just disappear forever. So let's go ahead and read this now. You may not yet have realized your own true feelings, but you sense them unconsciously. And so you're trying to get closer to me. That's a virtue, the path to paradise. If the door's locked, open it. Use the password for the prison gates. Doctor... I've forgotten his name. Anyway, that quack has it posted. He should be here, too. I mean, four numbers would have been good enough, but he kept on going. Isn't it a shame? I'm not there. Aren't you irritated? I long for you, but you're so cruel. Still, I want you, Heather. Stanley Coleman so, reading that one is probably the key for the ones that I missed later on. So, back when I get to those. So indeed, now that I've seen that diary that I missed, another one has appeared up here at the roof exit. I also like the rooftop. It makes me want to fly. You too? Stanley Coleman kind of a minor entry, but it does, I think, make the last one appear. I believe you have to actually see all of Stanley's diaries for that last one to show up. And so, as I suspected, now that I've read the rest of Stanley's diaries, the special one here in room S7 did indeed show up. The doll is all torn apart. It's really pretty sad to look at. I wonder who did it anyway. I want to look at the diary, please. Thank you. Goodbye, Heather. I'm sorry I wasn't able to respond to your love. It's all over. Leonard despises me, because I made fun of it, saying it would come to this. If it weren't for his meddling, I would have been able to meet you in just a little while. Then I could have taken you to my world. A world for us alone, more beautiful than this one. And I'd been waiting for this day, for today. The day I'd see you, the day you'd save me, today. Heather, watch out for him. Leonard is no ordinary guy. Farewell. I loved you. Heather, my goddess. Heather, my lover. Heather, my... And so ends the mystery of Stanley Coleman. Suddenly, we have a door here at the end of this hallway. It wasn't there before. And we no longer have a map. the feeling you're being led somewhere.
Confusing as this place may be, there's really no going the wrong way. The gates opening and closing heard you right where you need to go. So sure, it's confusing, but you can't get lost. Right, we get it, no going back. This picture, this one doesn't make my head hurt when I look at it. But I know this one. It must be... Still has an unusually high beat. Eyes don't open. Getting a pulse, but just barely breathing. Why? What is keeping that child alive? What the heck? Was I daydreaming? No, it was more like watching a video in a dark room. But that nurse, I know her. Lisa, who was so heavenly toward me in that hellish hospital room. She did get a little weird, though. Suddenly, things aren't looking so good. Here on this ladder, we have another creature that appears in this game, but you never really interact with him. This is Valtiel. Definitely symbolic, but we'll discuss that later. And so, believe it or not, this is still Brookhaven Hospital. According to the map, we're on the third floor. Glad Heather knows where she is. The fleshy walls are very, very disturbing. Thankfully, the entire hospital isn't like this, just a good portion of it. It's hard to tell where doors even are. going to be relying on the map a lot in this place. Thankfully there's a safe point in here. Also a couple of boxes of handgun bullets. And hey, a hand! The hand outside the window. Not that she has anything to say about it. But we do have a safe point here, and this seems like a good place for a refreshing pause. So, back after a short break. Right, was, uh, <laughs> kind of recording longer than I thought I was there, and, uh, I don't think my computer really liked that. Uh, it saved the file all right and everything, but, man, I think I was leaking memory like mad. I had to reboot after that one. So, anyway, moving on. Time to explore the rest of this crazy hospital. I doubt I need to check this out. I like to avoid touching this kind of thing if I can. It looks like there's a piece of meat or something on the ground. There's a dead body hanging from the ceiling. The blood dripping from it has totally filled the bucket set out below. Who would do this, and for what? It looks like a full-out bloodletting. If we look on our map, this area now is circled, meaning there's actually importance to this. Creepy though it may be.
locked, broken, and so we go through here. Just a pull probably doesn't mean anything. It's strange to point it out then. And oh goody, my old friends are back. The return of the Slurpers. I just saw you around the corner. I know you're there. They do take quite a few shots to kill. I think these ones are stronger than the older ones. Which is a bit of a problem. Ugh. Oh, what a time to reload. If you listen closely, you can kind of hear a death sound from them that lets you know when you can stop shooting. There's still a pain in the tail. Nothing that way. Stairwell is broken. We can unlock this door. And we can go in the storeroom. have a mirror here that's showing a rather strange reflection. Seemingly nothing else of interest, so we can just go. Or can we? Yeah, this is a bit of a creepy scene. The blood starting to come out the sink on this end, that had been coating the room on the other side of the mirror. But now if we look at our reflection in the mirror, we're getting covered in blood. So too is this room. You're pretty much stuck here for a while to watch this gruesome little display. Basically until your reflection stops. So there's no real point to coming in here and seeing this other than just atmosphere. But to know when you can get out, just keep kind of walking around a bit and watch your reflection. Okay, the reflection has stopped, get out. Because if you stay in this room too long, it will kill you. So that's all we can do for now on the third floor. A few more button options here in the Otherworld Hospital. We need to get down to the second floor now.